Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. My name is Monika Krzyżanowska and I'm a common workflow language developer. Before we go into the details of my presentation, I want to share a quick story with you. A few months ago, I was working on a complex CWL workflow in my project and I found myself spending a lot of time manually testing each step to make sure everything was working properly. I have a lot of input YAML files in different places. Working this way was very time consuming for me and prone to errors. But then I had an idea and shared it with my colleagues. What if we could create a testing framework that would automate this process and make our lives easier? And that's exactly what we did. I want to make a moment to acknowledge the authors of this framework. This project was a collaboration between myself and my colleague, Joanna Budkiewicz. We created the Arvados CWL tester framework as an initiative to improve the quality of work in our team and project. We both are from Poland and work in Roche company in Pirate Data Commons. I am bioinformatician and software developer specialized in next generation sequencing with some experience in pipelining bioinformatic workflows. Joanna is a Python developer with biology background and good knowledge about Arvados platform. We both create, maintain and use various CWL pipelines and execute them on Arvados in the cloud. The main advantage of Arvados CWL Ester framework is that it's open source and released under the Apache to zero license. This means that anyone can use it, modify and distribute for their own project without worrying about licensing and restrictions. This is a testing tool for CWL workflows and command line tools written in Python and executed on Arvados. Our tool supports running multiple tests in parallel using PyTest. We made it easy to keep all your tests in one script. There is also functionality to store common variables in JSON file that I will describe later. And we hope this framework can simplify testing process and make this little bit easier. And we use this in multiple workflows and tested, and we decided that is something valuable to maybe share with the community. Tests are written in Python code. Each test is a function that runs a process on Arvados and checks if it's completed successfully. Then, perform assertion on the result to ensure that they match the expected outputs. Additionally, uh, highlighting that the test can be written to cover different scenarios, such as testing with different input values and parameters, and they are created to ensure the quality of code and help catch potential issues. Code in Python is flexible and allows to write some helper functions for the same CWL step to not repeat the, this code, but to just take some parameter, for example, message, and repeat this, this helper function in multiple places to change the message. So it makes easier to change the tests after some refactoring. To execute our tests, we use the popular testing framework called PyTest. All the options available in PyTest can also be used with our Arvados CWL tester framework. 
Additionally, we implemented a way to run tests in parallel, which is a great feature when testing multiple workflows simultaneously, since each test is executed independently on Arvados as different process. Running them in parallel saves time. With this framework, testing CWL workflows and command line tools has never been easier or more efficient for us. If some test was executed on Arvados once until it is not removed, results are cached and it is not executed from the beginning. This framework also allows to avoid to opening Arvados work workbench every time that test was executed because everything is checked automatically by PyTest and printed in the terminal. Arvados CWL tester creates a temporary project on Arvados for each day and for each person. This ensures that the testing space is kept organized and tidy, and that each person has their own dedicated project to work in. By creating temporary projects in this way, Arvados CWL project is removed after one week with all temporary files. And here you can see our playground and there is some project created by Joanna and created by me. Each of them will be removed automatically. In the workbench, you can see in a user-friendly way, a key story of your testing. There is no need to go to the workbench. Python checks everything for you and prints in the terminal. But for me, it's very useful to sometimes have a look into my project where all tests from single day were collected. Our library has some functions that allows to make some assets and output checking for example you can check if some file that you expect is in output collection and also check if the size is as expected we also implemented functionality to check if command created by cwl by cwl is exactly the same as you expect because it prompts a lot of errors that we know from practice. And of course, we plan to implement more functionalities soon. We have some ideas about that. Our library provides a way to store variables in a separate file called variables.json. This file contains paths and dictionaries that may be needed in multiple tests or scripts within a pipeline. When executing tests, Arvados CWL tester imports the relevant variables from variables.json into the script, eliminating the need to repeat them in multiple places. This not only saves time and effort, but also helps to prevent errors. Imagine if you have CWL workflow pipeline that is very complex, contains a lot of steps, sub workflows and conditionals. Maybe there is a need to create two separated Python script for each sub workflow. And there are some inputs in bioinformatics like reference genome that probably will be needed in every sub workflow so instead of defining this in every place you can store it in this json and just import on the occasion of this conference we created some arvados cwl tester playground there this is a project on github and there you can try for yourself how to use our framework 
project contains some CWL workflow that is very simple and contains two steps. And there is single command line tool executed in these two steps. And for this workflow, we created some Python script that contains four tests that check multiple multiple ways how to run this workflow and steps. So there's example, you can run it on Arvados public playground and yeah, maybe maybe provide us some feedback or based on this create your own project. Before I conclude my presentation, I want to encourage everyone in common workflow language community to test out our Arvados CWL tester framework and provide feedback. feedback. As developers, we understand importance of user feedback and it can really, really help us to improve our work. So we welcome any suggestions or back reports that you may have as they will help us to make this framework even better. So please feel free to reach out to us with your thoughts and experiences. You can find contact information on the Arvados CWL Tester GitHub page. So thank you for your attention and bye-bye.